Good morning everybody. I just want to show you today about tension adjustment. Interestingly, we just had the warmest May in England for 100 years. But now, this is the perfect machine to show you one of the most important things on a sewing machine. This little baby here, doesn't matter which machine you have, you might have it up there. You, you might have a numbered dial, it might go from zero to four, it might go from one to nine. Uh, that's irrelevant. But what I'm gonna show you is a quick check to see if your sewing machine works. I'm doing this all one-handed. Now the tension unit, since the late Victorian periods, nearly all sewing machines had a tension release that you cannot see working, but it does work. It works for a series of levers inside the machine now if I can just show you this if you can just see that lever moving there and as you lift the presser foot up it should be releasing that tension now the disc should be all nice and loose and as you drop the foot down they go tight to sew if that is not happening on your sewing machine then it doesn't matter where you turn your tension dial it will have no effect on your stitch Remember golden rule number one with tension adjustment, the top tension unit adjusts the underneath quality of your thread, not the top. Okay, so now if your machine goes say from one to nine, put your tension around the middle of the dial, lift the foot up, make sure the tension goes loose, drop the foot down. When you're threading the machine, always thread it with the presser foot in the raised position to allow these little babies to go loose so that the thread can go right in them and that can avoid a lot of hassle, bird's nest cobbling, a real state. I love the Cresta sewing machines. My dad had, this is a German machine, my dad had a Cresta cruise at New Haven Harbour when I was a kid yeah we used to adore that but anyway this is a very useful little tip think about it look at it and just see if that might help you bye for now